the ability to distribute research progress mm -hmm. in a way that is like compute centric. You might mm -hmm. run some experiment, you get some graph, and then where do you go from some graph? Mm -hmm. The way that we are currently building infrastructure to solve this, and we've uh, actually run into this fairly recently, and we're really happy with the solution we've come up with, is this tool called Marimo. Mm -hmm. So historically, uh, scientists would use Jupyter. And Jupyter is this fantastic notebook tool that allows engineers, as everyone knows, to create a notebook, run some Python, and then store the results of that in Git or share it publicly. Mm -hmm. Ray, we're, again, one of the tools we use quite a bit and we love, Ray actually comes with a built-in Jupyter uh, server in every Ray cluster. Mm -hmm. However, one of the issues that we've found with Jupyter is that there's no order to the cells in a notebook. And you can't really pick up a Jupyter notebook because the order of the cells has been kind of run in some random order that is hard to um, really replicate. Mm -hmm. So we've been experimenting with this tool called Marimo, mm -hmm. which builds a DAG, uh, a directed acyclic graph of all the nodes and their relationships to each other. This allows us to then go and publicly host a Marimo notebook to say, hey, I finished some work check it out. I have a link for you. Anyone in the company can go look at this link and can, if they want to, go and rerun the experiment. They can just click rerun and it'll go schedule Ray jobs to go and awesome. rerun the whole experiment and see mm -hmm. the results. This allows us to more easily share knowledge in a compute centric way, stuff that would be really hard to reproduce on your own or try and change some parameter and rerun it. It's really hard to do that. But with these notebooks and this like publicly hosted idea, we're making progress towards that. 